In today's video, we're going to create this fun photo manipulation. So let's get started. So I opened a new document already. And as you can see, here are the dimensions of the document. So 2000 pixels width and 2500 pixels height. And what we want to do now is drag our images into our working space. So let's start with image number one, which is the city. Let's place it about in the middle and then resize it. I want to posi position it a little bit left of the center. Uh, the center is right over here. So I move it a little bit to the right so that there is some space for our skater. And now let's move in the skater. So let's do that by dragging it in our working space and resize it a bit like so. And now I want to position it on the tower. And the way to do that is by reducing the opacity so we can actually see what we're doing. And to place his hand on the tower, let's say something like this. And now we would simply want to select the skater. So we turn on the opacity again, back to 100%. And I select the selection brush tool by pressing W. And now I make the brush a little bit bigger by using the right bracket key. And I simply brush over the subject. Make it smaller by using the left bracket key. And we simply brush over our subject to select it. Okay, make sure to have the nail as well. I don't need the shadows because we're going to remake them ourselves. Let's go to the top here and select the skateboard. This I don't want. This I do want. So you can deselect unwanted parts. Let's say I accidentally selected too much over here. If I hold Alt or Option key on the Mac, you can brush over it to deselect it again. So let's make sure we have the whole skateboard selected. All right, I think we're almost done. So to quickly check our selection, we can press Q to go to quick mask mode to see if we forgot some stuff or whatever. Here you can see at the helmet, I forgot a little bit, so I will brush over it right now. Like so. The arms look really terrible, but we'll fix that later. So for now, let's press Q again to leave quick mask mode. And now we simply mask it out by clicking this icon over here. And there we go. It already looks like he's actually grabbing the tower and this looks pretty fun already. But we want to clean up the mask a little bit. So let's go to the mask. Let's select the mask. And as you can see, it was a quite harsh mask. So maybe we could select our mask again. And I did that by pressing command or by holding command and then or control on a windows and clicking this little thumbnail. And maybe I want to feather the edges a little bit. So I go to select and then feather. And now I do a radius of maybe one pixel or maybe two. And now I press Command Shift I to this um, to inverse my layer mask, and then I press Shift Command to fill it in, but not with white. I want to fill it with black. And then I press Apply, and as you can see now, the edges got a little bit feathered, so as you can see. So that looks better already. Um, now we can simply correct the things that we want to correct by with a brush. So we can also just select the mask, press B to select the brush, make sure it's a harder brush, set the flow also to 100% and reduce the hardness a little bit. And now you can simply, let's say, brush over the, the really harsh edges. To make them a little bit less hard. Less hard. 
maybe reduce the hardness a little bit more. And you can do this for the whole subject to make it look nice, obviously. Here it looks a little bit weird. like so all right so now we want to fix the hand because it's not what we want yet so let's reduce the opacity once again to see where we have to mask and then simply make our mask that it would fit better so let's keep it like this for now and let's create another layer underneath the skateboarder so i select the layer below and then cre create <coughs> sorry create cl uh, create new layer so it will appear like where i want it to be and then i choose a soft a soft black uh, soft round brush and i select some dark parts from the background like this image uh, this building over here and then I start drawing some shadows underneath the thumb and right here this we don't need so I go use the eraser tool to erase that quick select by using E and I want to reduce the opacity again to 100% and as you can see now we have a little shadow which is way too hard uh, way too dark at this moment so we can reduce the opacity and maybe we need some little shadow here like so and to make it more realistic um, all we have to do now, it's a really subtle change, but it makes a lot of difference. I just created a new layer. Um, sorry, I don't need a new layer. I copy or duplicate this layer. So I press Command J. And then I rasterize and trim it because I want to rasterize it to the mask. Um, so when I press rasterize and trim, it will be the skater left. If I would just use rasterize normally, you can see that it would keep this um, this part of the original image which I don't want so click rasterize and trim now it's only the skater as you can see I flip it by right clicking and then flip vertically I move it somewhere down here maybe a bit more here make it a bit bigger and what we want to do now is create a color overlay same co same concept so we choose a color or pick a color from the background which I already did right here click on it to select it and then we want to change the blend mode maybe to we can leave the blend mode to normal actually close it down and then we add a Gaussian blur and we increase the radius to something pretty big because our subject is pretty far from the surface so the shadow should be blurry let's say like so and now we can reduce the opacity a little bit to make things look more realistic this is the before and this is the after and that's it if you like this video, make sure to hit the like button and leave a comment on what you would like to learn the next time. If you like my content, feel very free to subscribe to my channel. That would mean the world to me. Then I hope to see you in my next video.